Recently, a nine-judge bench of the Supreme Court in its recent judgment has held that Indian states have the power to tax mining activities and collection of royalties from mining leaseholders is not a tax. The judgment effectively overturned the Supreme Court's previous position established in the 1989 case of India Cements Limited v. State of Tamil Nadu, which had classified royalty as a form of tax. The Supreme Court in its recent judgment held that the Parliament, through the Mines and Minerals Development and Regulation Act of 1957, cannot limit the power of state legislatures to tax mineral-bearing lands and quarries. It frees the states from the restrictions imposed by the centre, which is in tune with the Federalist principles of governance. Importantly, the Supreme Court held that royalty from mining is not a tax. Royalty is a contractual consideration paid by the mining lessee to the lesser for enjoyment of mineral rights. Central government can amend royalty rates but it cannot impose taxes on mineral rights under the Mines and Minerals Development and Regulation Act. The ruling is a good news for mineral-rich states like Orissa, Jharkhand, and Chhattisgarh as it allows them to impose additional levies on mining companies operating within their territories. This could enhance their revenue from mineral extraction activities. The verdict further would embolden fiscal federalism and help in raising government revenues to invest in physical infrastructure, health, education, human capacity and research and development. This brings us to the end of our video. We hope that you found it informative for your exam preparations. Please click on the like button, share our videos with your friends and subscribe to our channel on YouTube and follow Exact IS on Instagram. Thank you for watching this. I will see you in our next.